planning to walk the Inca Trail or visit Machu Picchu, you'll likely end up spending at least a few days in Cusco. With its lively square, quirky museums, artisans markets, and traditional performances, this is exactly the type of destination you'll want to linger in. Plus, let's not forget, it's also a good place to adjust to the altitude. neighborhoods in Cusco, and it is a great area to explore on foot. The neighborhood is known for its bright blue doors and window shutters, and it has a nice little square with a church and a water fountain. The neighborhood has some really cool lookout points with great panoramic views of Cusco, so you'll want to bring your camera. Plaza de Armas is the beating heart of Cusco. The square is flanked by a Jesuit church and cathedral, and there are also plenty of bars, restaurants, and tour agencies around the perimeter. During the day, you'll find locals and tourists hanging out in the square, and if you get lucky, you might just encounter a performance followed by a demonstration like we did. Museum is one of the main museums in town and it has rooms dedicated to different periods of Inca and Spanish history. You can also see women weaving rugs and tapestries by hand in the central courtyard. Curicancha was an Inca temple built to the sun god Inti and it is believed that the walls of this temple were once covered in sheets of gold. If the temple looks like it has various layers of construction, that's because when the Spaniards arrived, they demolished the original temple and used the foundations to build the church of Santo Domingo on the site. The Church of the Society of Jesus is a historic Jesuit church. It's worth a quick visit if you're in the area. <laughs> 